This week, we're delighted to be joined by Deba Salam, founder and creative director of Studio DS, a dynamic London-based architectural studio with bureaus in Dubai and Bangkok. Welcome, Deba. Hello, how are you? Very well, thank you. And now, are you ready for your quickfire questions? I am. Okay, please start the clock. When did you know you wanted to be an architect? When I started drawing buildings, I think I was six. Favourite building material and why? Timber, when it's sustainably sourced and renewable. I'm also into bamboo, um, but I think that's classified as a grass, really. Pencil or 3D? Both, but pencil first. I'm truly creative when I draw by hand. Your most useful tool? My hands. Building you wished you had designed? I don't really say I wish I designed it, but I do wish that, I do wish there was more diversity in our city by uh, different architects. But I'd have to say maybe Lloyds of London by Richard Rogers. What's the most annoying thing in an architect's life? Well, I run my own practice, so I have to say other architects are large multidisciplinary practices designing for free. I feel it's really hurting the profession. Who is your hero or heroine? Um, I, I would say my father. Um, as an architect, he came to the UK from, uh, for his REBA qualifications and ran his own practice and construction company. But he, uh, he was very encouraging and, uh, and raised three very independent, strong women. Top tip for young architects. Demand more from your education. Artistic side has to be supported by science and engineering and construction knowledge, but also don't only work for architects, work in the industry to understand the full process. And your greatest achievement? I like to think I haven't achieved that yet, but so far I've stayed true to my values, which is tough when you're running your own practice. Thank you, Deba. Hello, my name is Quentin and the green tip of this week is about frost protection. Some plants in the garden will need a bit of a winter time loving, in particular plants which come from warmer climates. In this garden we have two plants which are typically from such places, an echium and a musa basdu palm, so we'll need some degree of protection from the winter frost. For the palm, I'm just going to wrap up the trunk in the fleece and tape it up. It's fine to leave the leaves untouched so they can continue working for the plant and then just flop down when they're over, just as they would in the wild. For the echium, I'm building a simple structure to support the fleece covering the plant, which will allow decent air circulation, being careful not to create too much surface contact with the leaves, as this can increase chances of rot and disease due to too much moisture connection. This is 17 GSM fleece, and so it ought to be fine protecting the plants down to around minus 2 degrees. However, if you need more protection, you can always double up the layers or buy a heavier 30 GSM fleece. This was the green tip of the week. And see you next time!
Dakar look if aliens invaded. This was the premise behind the collaboration between Senegalese music producer Ibaku and fashion designer Selly Rabikan. Turning Dakar's old train station into an extraterrestrial base, visitors were drawn into an audiovisual space that was futuristic and surreal. By fusing African rhythms with new electronic sound, Ibaku imagines a hybrid blending the sounds of the aliens with the earth. Chaotic, harmonious and baffling. Hmm, remind you of anything? <laughs>